Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Stardew Valley. I've recently got this game, and I've been playing it in my own time, and I've absolutely loved it. I can't believe it. <laughs> like, how good it actually is. It's just fun. So, when you're enjoying a game so much, why not share that experience with others? And that's exactly what I'm going to do here with you guys. So for anyone who isn't aware, Stardew Valley is essentially a farm RPG. Uh, the RPG element is like dungeon crawling, uh, time management, inventory management, health management, energy management, all sorts of management. And yeah, I've just fallen in love with this game over the past few days. So yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys. Because you know, if if the content creator is enjoying something, I believe that comes across a lot more in the videos. And essentially that's what I try to do on this channel. I just try to play things that I enjoy and hopefully you guys like them. So the first thing we're going to do is the parsnip seeds we've been given, we're going to clear a bit of land and get those planted. Because we have some money to make. Right, how many we get? We've got 15. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And now, a little trick that I didn't know, but I do know now. We'll chop some of these trees down and get a bit of sap. Because sap, you can turn into fertilizer. So we'll just get some nicer crops straight off the bat. So how many sap? We've got six, so we need a bit more. Let's chop this tree down. I love the music in this as well. I love the art style, I love the music. It's so retro yet modern. It's like it's welcoming. In a sort of sense. Right, there's all that. Chop this last tree down and then we'll get these parsnips planted. As you can probably see in the bottom right corner of the screen, there is an energy bar as well which you can replenish with food and things like that, but we're not at that stage yet. So, essentially... Okay. Right, crafting, crafting... Ah, uh, I can't make fertiliser yet. That was a waste of time. Okay, let's just get these planted. Yeah, I can't afford the food or afford to make any food yet. So essentially when we're tired we're just going to have to go to bed and wait, waste the day away. I love this game and the fact that it's so peaceful as well. Like even when you're in the stresses of like dungeon crawling and things like that, it's still not overwhelming. It still possesses the charm that it currently has. And it's a cheap game too, which, you know, everyone was a bargain. I've also got some mixed seeds, so let's just get those planted and see what we grow. So immediately I can tell it's something different. Well, they're both different to the thingies, to the parsnips. Right, so I think the next task will head into the town and meet everyone. Because this is a community game. I skipped the intro because I've seen it before and it is quite long. Uh, but essentially, your granddad leaves you the farm in his will. And that's why you're here. And then the mayor greets you and the woman who's like, Alright mate, I can build you some stuff. And yeah, it's all good. We have a carn carnival calendar for spring with an egg festival, a flower dance, nothing to post today, that's fine. Hello, hello Marnie, 
0121 Marnie on the map. Yes, that's me, I'm new. Here, would you like some wood? You can also gift things to people once a day. So I've just given her a piece of wood. Which I've now realised can be taken in a completely wrong way. Hello there. Hello. That's a livestock. Nice. You. Let me greet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. See, this isn't just some back alley farm. Have I met you? I think I have. Marnie, yeah? Yeah. Can't speak to her. I also like the fact that I run a lot faster than everyone else, so it's like I have an emergency that I need to finish. I can move your face, you go to Love Town. Stop by the saloon, that's where I work. You know what, I may do just that. Nope, can't take their point. Hey there. Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Well, she's right, don't talk to strangers. Also, the fact that they've just let me into the house without knowing me. Crazy. Absolutely baffling. But hey, that's the kind of town this is. There's no danger in the town. You know, there aren't any weirdos or just wrong ones. We're a friendly place. So this is the mayor, mayor, mayor's shack. It's not in. We can go down to the beach. Beach, let's go get away. This is Elliot's shack. Oh look, we need 300 wood to fix that. So let's collect some of the stuff that's washed up on the beach, because we can sell these to, hopefully, Willy, if he's here. Willy, are you in? No, I've gone fishing, I'll be back tomorrow. Damn it, Willy! That's fine, that's fine. We've got a little box at the side of the house that we can put stuff in every day, and in the night, the mayor... Mayor? I can't say mayor. The mayor will come and collect and sell for us, and we get the profits. Which is a bit weird. Why is the mayor going around in the middle of the night taking stuff out of boxes to sell? We don't know. Hello there. So he's basically asking if we find anything precious, bring it to him, donate it to the museum, and put it on display. And he will reward us for it. Hello, you. Uh, I mean, I can't buy anything anyway, but we've met you now God. you're right there Abigail it's kind of a shame really I always enjoyed exploring these overgrown fields by myself Aww. and this is the Jojo Mart you'll notice as soon as you come in the music stops and it's just cold Heartless. Hey, sounds on the clock. Better not get in trouble. Shane's hard at work. Oh, sorry. Hello, uh, Morris. Seems like a Roman. And you can actually do us a little bit of a bargain on the stuff. But well, screw you, we're going to support the local market, the local stores, and shop at Piers. Have we been in every house yet? Oh, hello. I've not been in your house yet. Ah, hello, Grandad. This isn't actually my Grandad. He's just a mighty old guy. My Grandad's dead. As you can tell, because he left us the farm. It's a little caravan, no one is home. Oh, more people to meet. 
Hello, hello. Oh, are you the one who just moved in? I am. Oh, it's Maru. I'm going to the saloon. Is there anyone in here? I, oh, beer, salad, bread, spaghetti. Somebody touch my spaghetti. Sprouts. Oh, I didn't know you could buy recipes here. I've not actually been in here. It's a bit like, ooh. Okay. May have to invest in some of those recipes at some point. Who are you? Have I met you already? I think I have. Hey, I'm back. Hello. Who are you? Oh, Pam. I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. Well, you know, just treat me a little bit, yeah? There's no one back here. Okay. That's fine. We've, we've popped in, we've said hi. And it's starting to get on, so I think it's best we head back and start finishing off this farm. I'm going to clear a bit more space before our energy fully depletes and then we'll go to sleep. Yeah. What? Oh, no. <laughs> I've watered the logs. Right, let's get rid of the big trees first. Okay, and we're feeling tired, so let's load this up with the stuff we've got off the beach. So the two oysters and the clams. And then let's go inside the house. And I don't even have a chest. Let's make a chest so we can put our junk in it. Bop, 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 bop. There we go. In fact, while we're here, let's change it to... A nice teal blue. And that is it for today. That has been your basic run through of Stardew Valley. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I personally really enjoy the game. So I will carry on playing. Even if it's just in my own time. But if you guys show some support then. And obviously want to watch this. Then I will keep uploading. Uh, and to do that. What you got to do is leave likes on the video. And also comment what you are enjoying. And also what you haven't enjoyed. Because feedback is key in this game and any chance I can improve I shall take and then ultimately if you really love the video or love the content that I'm making then please show the channel some massive support and hit that subscribe button it just you know gets me closer to 200 which is the current target and I'm hoping we can hit that in a month or two fingers crossed and then also hit that bell tap the bell, do whatever you want to the bell, unless it's illegal, don't do that, just to get notified of any future videos I upload. I've been Parky P, this has been Stardew Valley, and I shall see you all next time.